Did you know that Neil Armstrong's first steps on the moon are etched into history, including his iconic description of the lunar surface? As Armstrong climbed down the lunar module's ladder, he noted the ground's unusual texture, comparing it to a powder. Ten minutes later, he collected the first sample ever from the moon. Now, more than 50 years later, a small amount of that lunar dust was sold to a new owner for just over $500,000 at auction, offering a rare chance to own a piece of history. Let's explore this incredible journey and its significance further. NASA has long taken measures to safeguard the lunar samples gathered during the Apollo missions. These materials are considered government property and aren't supposed to be owned by private citizens. NASA has made efforts to retrieve any stray lunar materials, including conducting a sting operation in 2011 to reclaim a rice-sized moon rock from a 74-year-old woman. The recent auction featured five aluminum sample stubs topped with carbon tape holding lunar dust from the first sample collected on the moon. This sale is a rare exception due to a mix of fraud, mistaken identity, and legal disputes. Adam Stackhouse, a specialist at Bonhams, described the situation as unique. The sale of these lunar dust samples has sparked mixed feelings among scientists. While NASA and other researchers have already analyzed the samples, they could still lead to further discoveries. Lunar samples are so precious, says Sarah Mazrue, a planetary scientist from Ryerson University in Ontario. Space law experts, however, see the sale as a promising step toward future trade in extraterrestrial materials, such as metals mined from asteroids. Mark Sandahl, an international space law expert, believes it marks a step toward commercializing natural resources from outer space. The lunar dust reached Earth due to its sticky nature. On the moon, solar wind imparts an electrostatic charge to the fine-grained dust, making it stick to everything. This stickiness caused issues during the Apollo missions, clogging equipment, wearing down suits, and causing trouble for the lunar landers. The sticky lunar dust led to it coating the exterior of the Teflon bag used to collect the first lunar sample. For transport to Earth, the bag was placed inside a zip-top pouch marked Lunar Sample Return. The grains sold today were taken from the woven fabric inside the protective pouch. The journey of the lunar dust to the auction block was a complex one. NASA loaned the sample back to the Cosmosphere Space Museum, where it later went missing. After the museum's director, Max Seri, left in 2002, staff discovered he had been selling museum artifacts and keeping the profits. A federal search found the lunar sample return bag, but a cataloging mix-up initially hid its importance. The bag was sold in an online auction to help Aries funds. Nancy Lee Carlson won the white pouch and the embedded dust for just $995. She sent the bag to NASA's Johnson Space Center to confirm its authenticity. Once NASA confirmed the bag's authenticity, they initially refused to return it to Carlson, citing its status as a national treasure with scientific and historical value. However, a legal battle followed, and eventually, Carlson won the right to keep the lunar dust. The sale of the lunar dust is a notable moment in the commercialization of space resources. It represents a move towards the future of private ownership and trade of extraterrestrial materials. The journey of this lunar dust to the auction block is a fascinating story of space exploration, legal battles, and human curiosity. This sale also marks progress toward making space and its resources more accessible to private individuals and businesses. As we venture into the future, the sale of lunar dust serves as a reminder of how far we've come in space exploration and the possibilities that lie ahead. This marks another step in opening new horizons and opportunities beyond Earth. Thank you for following this story on the journey of lunar dust, and we hope you stay with us for more updates on the past, present, and future of space exploration. Remember to subscribe to Mars 666 to keep up to date on all the latest news and developments.